happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome to the replay. My name is Robin and I'm with Robin Say Blue Creations and I'm also an independent designer with Chat Couture. So once you hop on the live or the replay, just say hi in the comments, tell me where you're watching from. Um, I happen to be in central Kansas. It is a hot one. It, I think it was our first 100 degree day today. It felt like Satan's armpit outside. I think it got up to about 105. So yeah, I'm already ready for fall. Uh, also, I wanna let you know that I am live in three locations this evening. So if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your comment feed, that person may be viewing and watching from viewing and commenting from a different platform. Also, if you are watching from my private Facebook group, there is a permission link in the description of the video. Uh, clicking that link just allows StreamYard to pin your profile name and pick to your comment. Um, you can choose not to um, click that permission link. Just know that your comment um, will show up as Facebook user in my comments and I won't know who to say hi to, but I'll still say hi. And if at all, if it, <coughs> excuse me, if at any time during the live or the replay, you like what you're seeing and think others should see it, please feel free to spread the chalk love all over social media. Hit that heart button, hit that like button, tag your crafty friends and invite them to watch along with you. Um, and I think that's about it with that. Let's... Um, I'm going to flip my camera, um, trying to decide which view I should use. So we'll just flip flop those and we'll just do it that way. So I see that Jason is watching from the other side of the door and it looks like I'm cheating because I'm watching my group on my phone. It looks like Miss Bonita is watching from her easy chair tonight. <clears throat> so... Tonight we're going to be doing an ink project. So you can say this is the week for ink. Um, last night I did an ink project as well. If you did not see it, you should go back. I actually went back and watched the puffing process from your point of view. Um, it's pretty cool to watch, watching the puff additive um, literally puff up when you heat it. So if you didn't watch last night's video, I highly recommend you go back and watch it just to watch the ink puff up. So tonight we are <coughs> um, using the Creative Kickstart bundle. Um, so there are only, you only have till Friday to purchase this bundle or to earn this bundle for free, I should say. So if you spend $75, then you get this bundle for free. And it includes this transfer. It includes this tote bag, which is really huge. Actually, let me show it to you this way. I gave you a little bit of a sneak peek. So it's a really big tote book and tote bag. It's got it has sorry it has a pleated bottom. It has two. It has one pocket on the side, but it's a gigantic pocket. So it's a larger tote bag than you expect. So it is about it's almost twenty by fifteen, and then the bottom is about eight inches. So it's a pretty good sized tote bag. <laughs> and then you get two ink packets. And yes, the ink comes in singles now. So we have, this one came with shimmer gold and it came with black velvet. So I believe there are about nine ink colors that come in a singles packet. And then it also, of course, it comes with this transfer. Um, if you are a club member, and I think it's still available, if you are a club member, you not only get this creative kickstart packet, but you get another transfer free. This one, however, is out of stock to purchase singly, but it's straight in your crown and handle, and it's super cute. Um, so yeah, so you have a couple more days to get this um, creative kickstart. If you, um, there's actually a cheaper way that you could get this Creative Kickstart. Um, let me pull up the graphic. 
I can find it. I just made it today. Hmm. Trying to think where it is. No, well, I just made it, but I can't find it. Anyway, <laughs> I can't. It's not that one. Nope, I just, I just made it earlier today. Oh, well, I can't find it. I put it in there. Anyway, <laughs> there is a Creative Kickstart perks pack. So if you sign up to be a designer, you can purchase um, this. Uh, this tote bag kit comes in your designer kit, and it's $59 through Friday. So that would be a cheaper way to get to the Creative Kickstart tote bag bundle. And if I can find that graphic later, I will pull it up. So anyway, let's get started. I've wasted enough of your time. So this is a, if you are new here, this is a silk screen reusable transfer. It is reusable about eight to 12 times or more, depending on how well you take care of it. So therefore, I need to make sure I note somewhere, somehow, that this is the back side of the carrier sheet. I normally use Sharpie, but it's really far away, and these new ones um, actually most of the time work with a pen. So I'm just writing the word back. You could also write the name of this, which is, I'm just going to put Shine. So I'm doing this because when I'm ready to clean the transfer, dry it, put it away, I know that the transfer goes on this side of the carrier sheet, not this side. <coughs> oh, almost forgot the whole fun thing. So I, as you can tell by the title, I wanted to try to tie dye with the Couture ink. So I took Couture Teal couture coral and bumblebee and I made them into a spray ink. So what I did is I just got these 97 cent squirt spray bottles from Walmart and I put a couple of dabs of ink into each spray bottle, added some water. They're, they were probably maybe a fourth full of water. Shook them up really well, got that um, ink mixed into the water and then I literally sprayed onto my ink my tote bag so I did that earlier because I wanted to make sure it was dry and this is what it looks like really cool and then for some of these let me pull it up a little closer for some of those bigger splotches um I took the uh, nozzle out of the um, bottle and just literally tapped it like I, I just tapped my finger on it um, and then I just kept getting it and then I would shake it a little more take the nozzle out tap it a little more and that's that's what got me these larger splotches so you could do any color combination and you can literally tie dye with this because I actually have a wrinkle here that didn't get um, inked. And so if you did a true legit tie dye shirt where you use rubber bands, um, it would make a really cool tie dye effect. So it's kind of the reverse, yeah, reverse of tie dye. So eventually I'll do the bottom. I'll do the back side, but I just wanted to get this side done and dry so that we could eat on it. Hello, Miss Sharon. How are you? So you can water down your inks, and this is really good for some of the inks that you may have had for a while that are getting a little stiff and harder to spread. Water them down, and you can use them as spray tie-dye inks. Works perfect. So, let's bring our transfer back in. So, I'm going to pull it off of the carrier sheet. 
I probably should have heat set this at least where my transfer is going to go, but I'm not terribly worried about it. And I'm not going to fuss, but first, let's put, let's put an ink mat down. Let's put this inside our, our tote bag so that it helps get out some of the wrinkles and it will help <coughs> keep my fabric from shifting and it will help keep my ink from bleeding through to the back side. I just think it's fun. It's super fun. It looks really cool close up because you can see all of the big splotches and you can go back in and add more like once you get your design on okay so i want to find the center of the design so i'm just lining up the two sides and i'm using these kind of rays as my guide and then i'm going to pinch with my left hand to kind of get a general center point and then I can kind of needs to go over just a little bit. to the side. Okay, so I'm just going to burnish it down. If you're just hopping on, this is the Creative Kickstart Kit for June. So if you spend the $75, then you get this bundle for free. It comes with the tote bag, it comes with the transfer, and it comes with two ink singles, one in black velvet and one in gold. I hinted last night that I have this speedball glitter additive and I think I'm going to use black although I could use I don't know if storm would look good or I could come back in with teal or I could come back in with coral what do y'all think but I definitely want to try this glitter additive because I have it so what color do you think would look better? I almost think black is too stark. Storm wouldn't show up very well. So I don't know, I'm kind of thinking one of these two. Or I could do, I don't know what white would look like. Too many choices. What do y'all think? Anybody? Anybody have any thoughts? If not, I'll pick. I think I might, just because it's my favorite color, I might go ahead and do, oh, Jason thinks coral. I think let's decide between those two. Okay. So let's see what, and this, I don't know if you can see, this is the side of it. So it's pretty glittery. I don't know what it says, what the destructions are. It just says for use with acrylic or fabric screen printing inks. And I got this at Michael's. They do have it, they had it at Hobby Lobby, but I think they're discontinuing it. Um, let's do coral. So I'm going to put my bag over here to the side. Don't go with mine, use the teal. Yeah. I think you're 
your right. So I want to plop some ink down. I could put book colors down, but that might be a bit much. Okay, let's open this bad boy. nothing. Oh, it comes out fast. So it is like super fine glitter. Let's mix that up and see what happens. says at concert this looks cool are you at a concert i just don't know until it dries how sparkly it is a little bit more. It's like super fine. So you're not crafting tonight, Bonita? Bonita says she's watching from her easy chair. That's how I was on Monday. I just was not feeling anything. In fact, I fell asleep on the couch probably eight-ish. I was so tired. Okay, let's put that far, far away. Uh, you love the tie-dye colors. It was fun to do. It was fun just to kind of spray willy-nilly. Okay, I'm going to get, surprisingly, this is a small squeegee. So I'm just going to get my squeegee. I'm going to pick up the ink. Oh, Benita says not tonight. She's not crafting tonight. Your feet are swollen, so you have them elevated. Well, get some rest. This heat, I'm sure, probably doesn't help. It is Satan's armpit outside. Okay, keep in mind your edges when you do this, because these are super close to the edges. I'm going to use a light hand if you can. I'm pretty heavy handed uh, squeegee user, so I always have to remind myself to go easy, especially with ink, because you don't want to ooze it out the underside of the transfer. I made way too much. That means I can make another ink project. I can see the shimmer. Make sure I got all the Go back over this middle part with a little bit more. Sometimes the ink will soak in and it kind of helps to put a little more. I'm 
Now I'm just kind of evening everything out. Okay, I'm going to make sure there's nothing on my fingers because you don't want to touch your fabric surface with ink on your fingers. off camera or on camera but it's super cute I think it shows up more in person than it does on camera um, Sharon asks with a glitter stick kind of um, like anytime you use a shimmer ink or paste it leaves a little bit of glitter residue on your um, mostly off the teal transfer or on the teal part. Um, it usually comes out of the screen fairly well. Um, there'll be a little bit of glitter residue, but it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere like this glitter does. But you can tell which transfers I've used to shimmer paste and ink on because they're a little bit more shiny than the other ones are. suspended in the case or the ink, it pretty much comes off. It's just a little bit left. So, um, when I do ink projects, I like to, um, I like to air dry them overnight. <clears throat> Some designers will use like a heat gun and, or a big hot heat tool and dry it and then almost immediately heat prep, heat set it. I'm not that daring. So I just let my stuff air dry overnight. I usually also don't have that much time. Um, I wanna eat some ice cream after this, so <laughs> I'm not gonna eat it <laughs> if, if we're being honest. Um, so I let my all my ink stuff usually dry overnight and then I'll heat set it after 24 hours or after 12 hours so like if i wanted to use this tomorrow for work i could heat set up early in the morning i won't but i could um so you want to heat set um either with an like a, a heat press or a, an easy like a cricket brand easy press or even the knockoff easy presses or you can just do a home iron um, so I have an easy press, so I'm going to set it for 305, and I'm going to press this for 30 seconds. And I put parchment paper between my tote bag and the easy press. If you're using a home iron, you still want to use some parchment paper or like if you have a bandana or like a thin flour sack towel, put that between your iron and your tote bag. And then you're just going to slowly move your iron over your... Uh, design. I wouldn't do four minutes. Um, I would do 30 seconds to a minute at least. At the, yeah. If you do four minutes, you're probably going to scorch your project. So he, uh, if you're using a home iron, set your iron to the fabric, which I have to find a tag, but I'm sure this is probably cotton canvas of some sort. There's probably a tag somewhere. Yep. 
They're down there. So this is uh, 97% cotton. So you'll set your home iron to cotton and then put your, your barrier, whatever that is, a parchment paper, bandana, uh, pillowcase, a uh, flour sack towel, um, put that down, put your iron, and then just gently go over it for 30 seconds to a minute. You'll know that it's heat set because it'll go from tacky um, to kind of a smooth surface, but it stays tacky kind of until it's fully heat set. I hope that made sense. Let's go back to my comments. <laughs> Jason says yay for ice cream. Yeah, I don't need any, but when it's 105 outside. So it's not as sparkly as I would hope, but you can still, you can see it a little bit. So that is what we ended up with. Rise, if you're gonna rise, you might as well shine. So that is the project for this evening. Um, oh, I wanted to leave a little bit of time to go over um, just one new thing. Um, if you have been on the fence about joining Club Couture, you're probably going to want to join either this month or close to August because they're rolling out some pretty cool things for club members starting August 1st. And so I made a little bit, I made a little graphic to show you what that is. So, starting August 1st, the monthly subscriptions will include a coordinating accessory. So you can see on the screen the little pumpkin county fair. That is actually August's transfer. And that pumpkin is actually a chalkable shape. So for right now, until they come up with something even more cool, your monthly transfers will come with a chalkable shape. So you'll basically get a transfer, a shape, and your three paste singles at no additional charge. Woohoo! So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> also, um, you'll get at, at your subscription anniversary, you'll also get an exclusive squeegee of the year. So this year it happens to be the, the fuchsia pink one on the left so if your anniversary has already passed this year then they will fulfill those in july um anniversaries from um august and through december will go on normally you'll also get a free holiday gift in your november shipment you will get a free printed product guide four times annually and that'll come with your um uh transfer. So you should be, if you're already a member, you should be getting a product guide for the autumn release that happens on July 11th for customers. Um, there'll also be digital discounts as a VIP club member. Um, so if you've watched other designers, you've seen that some of them cut wood shapes out with laser machines, or you've seen um, other designers use the uh, chalk suede sheets, and some of them have cut them on their Cricut. Well, starting with the new autumn uh, catalog that releases July 1st, there will be digital designs available for most of the transfers. So if you own a Brother Skin and Cut, a Cricut, or a Silhouette machine, or even the Cricut Joy, then you can use those digital designs to cut coordinating shapes to go with many of the transfers. Um, if that doesn't uh, suit your fancy and you don't have um, any of those machines, then you can just buy the transfer, but there will also be a transfer plus digital design bundle. And so then <coughs> because you're a club member, they will have occasional digital discount bundles available. That's what that one is. The next cool two things are really cool. So say you don't really like, 
October's transfer. You get a preview. You don't really like it. So you have the ability to share that month's Club Couture kit with a friend or family. So you just respond. I think Chalk Couture will be sending out a preview email. And then you say yay or nay. And if you don't want that one, then you have the ability to say, I, I would like for you to send it to my Aunt Nancy. And then you give them Aunt Nancy's mailing address. And then she gets it for that month. So that's really cool. The last thing is you also have the ability for either yourself or for somebody else to get discounted prepaid Club Couture memberships for four months or 12 months. So if you like get a bonus and so you want to pay up front for four months of Club Couture for yourself or 12 months of Club Couture for yourself, you can prepay. So then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the year. Or, gosh, I really don't know what to get my Aunt Nancy for Christmas. She likes crafting. She likes piddling. I think these would be great little crafty kits for her. Then you can purchase a prepaid membership for Aunt Nancy, and that can be her birthday or Christmas present. So that's really cool. So if you have been on the fence about joining Club Couture, I highly recommend um, hopping off that fence and getting signed up. I have all of my links in the description of the video. There is a link tree link and that takes you to all of the different links and there is a club link listed in there. So, oops, the wrong button. So tell me what you think about the new Club Couture um, benefits and if you have any questions about like the digital files or anything like that I'll give you a little bit of time to respond so, okay I think it's really cool we're all it's pretty exciting um, just keep in mind that the autumn catalog launches for customers on July 11th um, You'll probably get a few previews just because I'll have access to purchasing the transfers and all the some of the new product on July 1st, <clears throat> which will be cool. So they're they're trying to also trying to stagger when designers can purchase new items and then when customers can purchase new items. That way, we're not all purchasing them together. And um, I know I've been as a designer, I've been frustrated with trying to purchase things on launch day. I can't imagine as a customer how stressful and how frustrating that can be. So they're trying to stagger um, launches for designers and for um, customers. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull up. I'm just pull up my uh, Without having to type anything. I can't read my computer from here. I was trying to pull up my home page. And I don't have my I can't find it. Uh, I can look for it on my phone. Let me just show it to you. So I'm going to show you. I was talking earlier about purchasing, how to purchase the Creative Kickstart bundle cheaper than earning it for free. I know it sounds that sounds kind of weird, but let's see if I can pull it down. I made a fun graphic and everything, and oops, now I don't, I can't find it. Let's download that. Okay. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, where'd it go?
Okay. I don't know if you can see that very well. So, oops. Helpful if I. I don't know if you can see that. So this is the Creative Kickstart Perks Pack. Um, so you can purchase everything in the picture, in, which includes this tote bag and transfer for $59. And that is good. Oops. Good, that is good through Friday. Um, so it's about a, it's a $310 value for $59. It's a pretty darn good value. So that's what I was referring to earlier. Um, if you just wanted to sign up to be basically be a kidnapper, but if you if your wish list is way bigger than your wallet like mine was, you sign up to be a designer, you get the 40% discount. Um, and then you decide what you want to do. You can stay a hobbyist. Um, you can you, you can turn around and sell your finished pieces for extra income. Um, you can host workshops or little get-togethers with your with church ladies, um, moms groups, um, single gals, Galentine's Day, all that fun stuff. Or you can build it as a you know you can build a team. So you just kind of and. I kind of ebb and flow. Sometimes I'm a hobbyist. Sometimes I host workshops I'm trying to sell my finished pieces. I do have two designers under me, but whatever, whatever works for you. So that would be how I would go about it. But just keep in mind that this kit is available through Friday if you're wanting it. Cute little tote bag. And who doesn't love a tote bag? Come on. Don't forget to um, hit that like button or hit that heart button. Also, if you wouldn't mind sharing it, it would be great. Uh, I'd really like to get to a thousand followers. I'm at like 697. So if I could get about 300 more followers by the end of the year, I'd be doing pretty good. So if you could um, help help me in that goal by um, spreading the chalk love around Facebook, that would be fantastic. So I greatly appreciate you hanging out with me this evening. Um, and I hope to be live either Friday or Saturday. Weekends are hard, especially now since I have to, I work at Junk in the Trunk on Saturdays, some, some Saturdays. So I'll be there this Saturday. Come say hi. Um, come check out my booth. Come check out all the other booths. I've been collecting real quickly just some fun little vintage pieces. Like there were two of these little, they're the bottoms to the butter dishes. And they were like on a free shelf, but they're great for paint brushes, dirty squeegees, wet wipes. They wipe out really easily. And then I got this really cute, pretty vintage beat up. Um, and it's probably fire. No, it is Pyrex. Um, pretty cheap. It's pretty beat up, but it looks really cute. So I can throw stuff in there and then... My mom collects Scotty dogs. She already has this one, but it's a little Scotty dog creamer. And so it's great for paint brushes, multi-tools, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So I've been having fun just looking at all the vintage stuff and going down memory lane. We had that in our kitchen. We had that in wherever. So that's been a lot of fun. So come say hi on Saturday if you're out and about. Um, stay cool if you're where it's warm. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out and have a great rest of your week. Thanks for watching.